we're asked to solve the differential equation y prime plus 3x squared y equals x squared using an integrating factor. Once we determine the general solution using an integrating factor, I'll also show how we can use the technique of separation of variables to solve the given differential equation. But again, if we're using an integrating factor, we want to make sure the given differential equation is in the form y prime plus p of x times y equals f of x, so that we can identify the function p of x. And notice how the given differential equation is in the correct form, where p of x equals 3x squared. Next, we determine the integrating factor, which is r of x equals e to the power of the integral of p of x dx which means the integrating factor r of x is equal to e to the power of the integral of 3x squared dx. The indefinite integral of 3x squared with respect to x is equal to three times x cubed divided by three, which simplifies to x cubed. We'll leave off the plus c for now. r of x is equal to e to the power of x cubed. And now I multiply both sides of the differential equation by the integrating factor. This gives us e to the power of x cubed times y prime plus e to the power of x cubed times three x squared y. Let's write that as three x squared e to the power of x cubed y equals on the right e to the power of x cubed times x squared. Let's write that as x squared times e to the power of x cubed. And now the left side of the equation is equal to the derivative of the integrating factor times y with respect to x. So we can write the left side as a derivative with respect to x of the integrating factor times y. The next step is to integrate both sides of the equation with respect to x. On the left, the integral undoes the derivative and we're left with the integrating factor times y equals on the right. We need to perform u substitution, where u is equal to x cubed. Differential u is equal to three x squared dx. Dividing both sides by three, we have one third du is equal to x squared dx. Let's go ahead and write the integral in terms of u. x squared dx is equal to one third du. And x cubed is equal to u giving us integrand function of e to the u. One third times the integral of e to the u with respect to u is equal to one third e to the u plus c, which means with respect to x we have one third e to the x cubed plus c. The last step is to solve for y by either multiplying both sides of the equation by e to the power of negative x cubed or dividing both sides by e to the power of x cubed. I'm gonna go ahead and divide. Simplifying, the general solution is y or y of x equals one third plus, let's write c divided by e to the power of x cubed as c times e to the power of negative x cubed. This is the general solution using the technique of an integrating factor. And as I mentioned earlier, we can also solve this using separation of variables. Let's quickly go through that process as well. To say some time, I've already worked this out. First, if we subtract three x squared y on both sides of the equation, notice how we have a common factor of x squared. Factoring x squared from the left, we have x squared times the quantity one minus three y. Notice now the differential equation is in the form of dy dx equals a function of x times a function of y, which is why we can also use the technique of separation of variables. And now separating the variables, we have one divided by the quantity one minus three y times dy equals x squared dx. Notice how we multiplied both sides by the fraction of one over the quantity one minus three y, and then wrote the differential equation in differential form, or we can think of multiplying both sides by dx. And now we integrate both sides of the equation. On the left, we need to perform u substitution, where u is equal to one minus three y, du equals negative three dy, Dividing both sides by negative three, we have negative one third du equals dy. Integrating on the left, we end up with negative one third times natural log, absolute value of the quantity, three minus y. We'll put the plus c on the right. Integrating on the right, we have x cubed divided by three plus c sub one, or one third x cubed plus c sub one. Now let's work on solving for y. Let's first clear the fraction of negative one third on the left by multiplying both sides by negative three, which gives us natural log, 
absolute value of one minus three y equals negative x cubed minus three times c sub one. And now to solve for y, we can exponentiate both sides of the equation with the base of e, or write the log equation as an exponential equation. Recall natural log is base e, indicating e, indicating e to the power of negative x cubed minus three times c sub one must equal the absolute value of one minus three y. Now we'll solve for y. Next, we'll subtract one on both sides, and then we'll divide both sides by negative three. Now if we focus on this quotient here, e to the power of negative three times c sub one divided by negative three is just some constant. We'll call that constant c, which gives us the general solution of y equals c times e to the power of negative x cubed plus one third, which is the same general solution we found using an integrating factor. I hope you found this helpful.